Hello, hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, well, today we will be doing something with this broom. So this broom I bought from Mr. DIY for... Hello Benji. So this broom I bought from Mr. DIY for about 4 ringgit. And I believe everyone must have one of these at their home. Because this is like the essential broom. This is a classic broom. However, for today, I will be turning this into a dried flower arrangement. So this is basically a cheaper option for pampas. I know that pampas is a bit expensive. It's more on the expensive side, especially if you're here in Malaysia. So why don't we use our own Malaysian pampas, which is this broom. This is gonna be super easy, super simple. All you need is a broom, a scissor, a vase like this. And last but not least, all you need is a little bit of hairspray. This one also I bought from Mr. DIY as well for about 5 ringgit. Alright, so let's start. So let's ignore Benji at the background. Let's focus on this broom right here. So first we need to take our scissors and we're going to cut everything. All the threads right over here need to be cut off and also at the end part, this one they use a nail. So this one right here is a bit hard to take it off but I'm pretty sure you guys can just cut the plastic off. It is a very soft plastic as well. So let's start with the cutting. I also forgot to mention, probably you guys want to do this outside of your house or prepare a vacuum beforehand because there's going to be a lot of dust falling off and we need to clean them eventually. Alright, so over here you can see that it is piece by piece, it will fall off like this. However, as I mentioned, this is a cheaper option for Pampas. If you like Pampas and you can afford Pampas, then go ahead and buy them. I do have a few in my house as well. This is just an additional and option for you guys to DIY yourself at home. So this part right here is optional. You guys can keep it like this in order to have a more fluffy top right here. And this part right over here, you guys can just twirl it around using a thread or a macrame cord around it. For me, I'm just gonna take it off one by one like this because I like it more like this. And instead of putting all in one, I can put it in other vases as well. And now is the final step. I'm going to put it in the vase that I have and also the one that I DIY. If you guys haven't watched the video that I made this vase right here, this is from a plastic bottle. You guys can click in the card up here. And yes, you guys must be wondering why I said I need a hairspray. This one is super helpful in order to keep everything in place so that it won't chip off easily, so that it won't create such a mess after. All right, so right now, let's do this. Alright, so for these two are basically done. Uh, sorry about the wind. However, there are more right here and I'm going to take a small vase like this and I'm, I'm going to try my best to take whatever's left and just put it inside here. If you guys don't like it to be too tall, you guys can always trim them. And you can just put it into the vase like this and it is done. It is super cute as well. Alright, that is all for me for today's video. I hope you guys love this video. If you guys do, please like and comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms all in the description down below. And yeah, that's all. So, bye!